Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And as you can see, it's cold. Cold, cold, cold. Actually, if, you, if, if, if you're watching this and you're up there in New York or somewhere up there where you're getting 12 feet of snow right now, this is not cold. <laughs> but for us down here in Texas, this is cold. It's like 33 degrees. It's just, it's just cold. It's, it's no, middle of November 22. I have traveled out into West Texas. And today I find myself at Lake Colorado City State Park with Lou Red, the high speed mobility scooter the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod and best of all I have you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna hop on a little red and we're gonna go check out this Texas State Park. Alright if you've not already please click on the subscribe button because I need your help. This is the second time I have done this tour here at Colorado City State Park. Second time today. Now the first time I did it on the new e-bike with the camera mounted on my helmet. This time we're doing it with the scooter and the camera on the body harness. So what I need for you to do is watch both the bike tour will be aired, it'll be live tomorrow at 4 o'clock Central Time. So if you could watch both of those, both of these, both videos, and tell me which one you like better. That would really help me in further video production. When we get up to full speed on either the scooter or the bicycle, you're traveling at about 20 miles an hour, and that windshield gets brutal. I got so cold on the bike, the e-bike, that I, I couldn't finish the run. I went back to camp and put on some more clothes. So hopefully we'll be able to do a complete run now. I put on the snow boots, the heavy coat. I have the I have the wool long underwear, wool socks, lined gloves. <laughs> I'm bundled up head to toe just for you. In case you're wondering, this is where the recreation hall is. I mean, that's, that's one of the nicest recreation halls I've seen in a Texas State Park. Now, Lil Red does not like to follow conventional rules. We always go the wrong way. That's just how Lil Red operates. And there is the lake, which is desperately low. The lake was originally constructed to provide water for a power plant and municipal water supply and recreation. And according to the Texas Parks and Wildlife website, the third is, third ops or the third <coughs> the third function is the only one left. So apparently they don't use it for drinking water, uh, and the power plant's been taken offline. Stop sign? What stop sign? We're breaking the law! Breaking the law, as Judas Priest said. Alright, we have three camping loops. A 30 amp, a 50 amp, and a primitive. 
we're gonna tour the 30 amp first. They're all back in sight. 30 amp with water. And it's pretty wide open, so we're only gonna do one pass through here. On the 50 amp loop, we'll go both directions. We'll loop it twice. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot of shade. The mesquite trees give you a little bit, but not much. There's not a whole lot of screening between your sights either. Uh, looking at Google Earth, Google satellite images, here to our right you'll see a road. And in those satellite images there's a structure down there that kind of looks like a fishing dock, crappie barge, but it's no longer there. The only thing that's down there now are the foundations. All right, let's go see some camping, some 50 amp camping loop or loop singular uh, on the bicycle tour we'll do the exact same direction we went this way uh, on this loop all th there's a there's several pull throughs and most of them are not very level Vista site. I thought when I was looking at the, the map that I'd at least be able to see some water from these sites on the our left, the outer the outside of the loop, but you can't really see any water. Yappy in the ready pack. We have both become true lovers of wool today. There's Trudy Thunder and White Lightning. And when we uh, turn around here and go back, you'll see that the side I'm in is very much on level. So much to the point that my front wheels are off the ground. All right, we're looping around. You see the wheels off the ground there. And I thought it was flat. I was wrong. All the ones on our right now, all the pull-throughs, with one exception, are most on the level. And that one exception is up here where Yappy is now. 
And even then, I think it kicks off real sharp to the right, to the patio side. This one's not too bad. Number 14. I don't really have a favorite sight here. <laughs> Cold air, making me choke. <laughs> Number 52 is pretty cool. Here at the end of the road with hardly any neighbors. That's a good sight right there. That's pretty flat. Just have to enjoy the scenery. <laughs> I have no monologue. If you like mesquite trees and prickly pear, you'll like this campground. Tomorrow we head back east. We're going to visit a Corps of Engineer property. Horde Creek. I've had a couple of followers tell me I need to go visit that one. station here on our left. We're going to loop through the cabin loop next.
These cabins are relatively new. They were built in the 80s. They're, they're older than my children, but uh, not as old as me. They're really nice, especially this one right here ahead of us. This campground would be a fantastic waypoint if you're moving east or west on 20 and you need a place to spend the night or a, a couple nights just to decompress from the drive. As you can see, there's nobody here. It's Sunday. Yesterday, uh, last night, there were a total of five RVs, six RVs, one, two tents, and one cabin. That one. There are a total of 10 cabins. The cabins are actually really nice. They've got uh, a little kitchenette with a refrigerator and a microwave. Four bunks and a table. Table and chairs. Stop sign. What stop sign? water available at each site. It's an out and back loop. So you'll be you'll want to look on the left going in and coming out.
tonight I'm wearing the merino wool underwear and it is making it bearable. It has snowmobile boots on too. Yeah, why does why does why does dude RV in Texas have snowmobile boots? Well, some company sent them to me and said, you, you interested in trying these on? Said, yeah. I'm sure glad I said, yeah. These things are warm. All right. So, back there at the end of that loop was where I cut off the bicycle ride. That you'll see tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe and give that a watch. Tell me which you like better. The scooter ride or the bike ride. Now we're gonna head on down to the day use area. I had to adjust my helmet. Wind is blowing up underneath my helmet. Turning my forehead into a big sheet of frozen skin. get to fly. I don't know if it's a good thing right now or not. When the wind blows out here in West Texas, there is not much to interrupt the airflow. So it blows really hard. Fortunately, it's not blowing right now, because that would really be miserable. It was blowing really hard yesterday, and it was miserable. this side the first point of interest it's identified on the map as a bank fishing area and yep that's pretty much what it is <laughs> it's a parking lot so that you can walk down to the water point of interest is identified as the kayak 
launch and there's picnic tables. At one point, there used to be a fishing dock here, but it was decommissioned sometime in the past. And all that remains are the foundations. A rough patch to go through here. Caught a little air. <laughs> I don't like catching air on little red. of some kind. Now we're headed to the beach. Great day to go to the beach. That's the only playground in the, in the whole state park. It's kind of sad if you're a kid. All right, now we go downhill. And as we go down this hill on your right, and right ahead of you right now, that is the beach. My boat ramp fans will be so glad to know that there is a fully functioning boat ramp and a big one at that. More parking for the boat ramp. So they use picnic areas out here. seen of all there is to see here at Lake Colorado City. Lake Colorado City State Park. If you're still with me at this point, thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, especially as cold. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please consider clicking on the subscribe button. I would be most honored. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I never would have come here if it were not for you. Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, I am so grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?